Today's realtor reaction is a 1924 Art Nouveau castle listed for $9.8 million in Los Feliz. I'm realtor David Ivkovic. Welcome to LA Schools Tomes. Let's take a look. Okay, we are looking at 2630 Glendower Avenue in Los Angeles, California, 90027. We'll open up the map. So here's Los Feliz Boulevard. A lot of locals will say Los Feliz, but for the sake of the video, I'll just say Los Feliz. Most of the exclusive homes are located north of Los Feliz or north of the boulevard. That being said, there is an exclusive gated community here, which is just south of Los Feliz Boulevard, where a lot of celebrities like Angelina Jolie have lived. Now the property we're looking at is up here on the side of the hill. We'll open up the map. Now it comes with two parcels. Uh, so I think this second piece of land here comes with the property. So it's this massive piece of land and it makes up 1.71 acres. So you could build a secondary home or a guest house here if you wanted. Okay, we'll take a look at the description. Almost two acres of gardens and landscapes surround celebrated architect A.F. Likst Grand Art Nouveau Mansion overlooking panoramic city views from downtown to the ocean. Indescribable interior details emanate from Egyptian-inspired geometric pillars and repeating arch passageways overlooked by curved gilded ceilings. Okay, let's dive into the photos. This home is incredible. I just love looking at these 1920s golden age of Hollywood homes, and this one's no exception. It it's a castle and it's so cool to walk through. So it was designed by AF Liked. It was built in 1924, has five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, is 5,582 square feet, and has a lot size of 1.71 acres and is listed for $9,885,000 and has this 26 foot tall front entrance with these curved staircases and this massive wrought iron chandelier that just kind of grows from the ceiling and we'll see more pictures of it. There's a huge front living room with this dome ceiling. These are Art Nouveau picture windows that overlook downtown LA. Here's an upper sitting area or office that overlooks that living room. So we'll see from here. So there's that room that we just saw. So you'd come out and greet your guests before dinner and just, it's a castle. It's so cool. So all these pillars, here's that front entrance with these curved, uh, this curved staircase and then another shot of that chandelier. And it has a lot of notable celebrity past owners. The current owner bought it in 2014 for 8.3 million. And at one time in the 60s, it was owned by a famous actor who would, to make money, rent rooms in it to people such as Bob Dylan and Andy Warhol. And at one time, Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers owned it. Here's the dining room. It feels, yeah, you're totally in a castle with these massive, all the stonework on the ceiling and the walls, big, huge windows. Here's a sitting room that's just off the dining room. You can see you'd go have a cigarette after dinner, waiting for dessert to be served, enjoying the view from these panoramic windows. Here's the primary bedroom. You can see the arch doorways. Even the doors are custom cut with the arches. And then this is a sitting room or a little lookout off the primary bedroom with, again, more of these panoramic window views and all these rounded rooms throughout the house. Here's the primary bath with the tub and all this beautiful tile work and more of the arch doorways into the various rooms. And here's the primary closet with these French doors that have the custom arch cutouts and another bedroom with, wow, this incredible Art Deco bathroom. Just this rich, deep black tile with the pink is so 20s and kind of that Art Deco feel. Just, you're totally transported back in time. I love this use of the trim tile here that just kind of separates the two contrast from each other and just all the arched windows even this beautiful medicine cabinet has the arch and cut out to it and here's one of the octagonal rooms you can see this really custom cut out where the bed is and just all these insets have so much detail and workmanship that goes into these homes and another bathroom with just this incredible tile 
so pretty with the deep yellow and the blue and how this trim tile offers this accent with the blue and yellow mixed together and more archway. Oh, yeah, they don't make them like this anymore. Here's an office area with these doors that lead outside. And here's the kitchen. So homes built back in the day like this, the kitchen wasn't the heart of the home. So you can see this is a very utilitarian kitchen. The subway tile even goes up to the roof, just everything easy to clean and wipe down. The butcher block counter throughout, massive hood fan, the big stainless steel Viking stove, but very purpose built for the workers or the help to cook for you. This wasn't where you would go and entertain nowadays where you have these big open concept kitchens. This is, you know, not to be seen by your guests. And another shot of these big windows out and a little sitting area. So the breakfast nook too, it's small. So your servants would sit here and eat. This wasn't for the family to really sit and eat. They would probably have another more formal eating area or would eat in the dining room. Here is a yoga studio they built with the punching bag and another uh, sitting area. This is that watchtower that we saw. So it leads out to the rooftop deck. So you can see this 360 degree watchtower at the top of the property that overlooks Griffith Park and downtown LA there. And then the ocean off to our right or west. And a basketball court and the manicured grounds with all the cacti. Here is the guest house. So it has a guest house on the property. This you can see is a bit more subdued, not as grand. Uh, it doesn't have all the or arch doorways. So this could have been built at a later time. Here's some of the meandering trails that surround the property and just lots of landscaping. So you'll have your gardeners working day and night on this property. And that's it. So there's the wrought iron gate up to the front driveway or courtyard and these old vintage lights. Yeah, just going back in time. These are pretty interesting properties to see. It's amazing that they've just been kept up and people, you know, respect these homes and want to maintain their originality and charm. Well, thanks for watching. I'm David Ivkovic. Make sure to like and subscribe and join me next time as we tour more of LA's coolest homes. Take care.